Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. The number one question that I have gotten since I posted my how I drive as a wheelchair user. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Time <laughs> <a> shot, hey! <laughs> Um, I'm going to be honest, for the first couple of weeks I really didn't have a solution, but I was going to places where I would have friends or people there that could get in and out, in and out for me, so I relied on them. Okay, so I don't have a lift in the back of my car because we just decided that that's not the thing we wanted to do right now, because I don't think that I'm at the point yet where I need it. And so I've been working on a couple other things with my physical therapist to get my chair in and out of the car and I think that I figured out a way that I can do it. Um, it is a little rough, it's not pretty. It's a little ugly, it's kind of like manhandling it and just tossing it in there and hoping for the best. Yeah, I remember that. Um, sometimes I fall on the ground and that's okay, it's just part of it. But it has given me a lot of independence and I'm more, I'm able to go places by myself now. Also, my dad is filming this. Do you want to say hi? Time to shot. Hey. <laughs> okay. So in my car, um, usually it's pretty hot. So. But, um, so I always have my keys and my phone, which I just put right here like I did in my other video. I'm gonna make sure it's unlocked. And there's a button on the inside that opens the trunk. And it, usually I just leave my door open because I'm usually in an inaccessible spot that I have room to do that. But if for some reason I'm not, I'll go ahead and shut it. I'm gonna take this opportunity to do a brief PSA. If you don't have a placard, please don't park in the accessible spot. Thank you. It's, like I said, it's usually hot outside. And this ledge thing gets really hot and I need to sit on it. So I use this towel to sit on. I keep it in the truck on Mars. So usually I leave my chair right here and then I'll pull myself up and Brace myself on the trunk of the car. I told you guys this wasn't pretty. It is a little rough, it's not pretty. And then I sit on the edge enough to where all my weight is on the car and my feet are on the ground so I can press out but not fall, if that makes sense. So right, when I put my chair in the car, I usually have to unlock the brakes so that I can turn it like this. And then I put the back down, and then I put the wheelie bars up. And then I will lock the brakes back because I've learned that you cannot put a wheelchair in a car and leave the brakes unlocked. The reason I put the wheelie bars up is so that I can put my legs in between um, so I can put my legs right here without, like, being trapped. Alright. So then, I grab it by the hand rims, and I make sure I'm all the way to the right of the car, so I have room. And I grab it by the hand rims, pick it up, and lean up. Sweating. <laughs> I have to make sure it's turned right so I can lose your day all the way. And then I hold on to the sides of the car. And 
walk to the driver's seat. And then again, I just hit that button to close the trunk. So it's not pretty getting it in the car and getting it out, especially in like a hot parking lot, but it does allow me to do things by myself, which is a big thing for me. So one thing that I was going to say is that when I walk around the car, I use both hands on the car. But a suggestion that I have, if any of you are wheelchair users looking to do this, and you still have the mobility, I would, um, you could always throw a um, cane or a walker on the, in the back of your car and then just use that to help you walk to the driver's seat because that's a little easier to manage. Okay, so let's get out. So I open the trunk. Then again, I leave my door open, leave my stuff on the side of the door, and all that jazz. And then walk around the side. Okay, and then sit on the edge like I was before. So, to get out, this is where it gets real ugly. And I have scrapes on the front of my chair everywhere from it hitting the concrete. Like, it's just part of it. Grab one of the tires. I try to turn myself as much as I can towards the chair. So I grab the tires. And then... and all that. There's a video called Wheelchair Tour on my channel where I take it apart and stuff. But I'll link my driving video and my wheelchair video down below. So usually from here, I'll just transfer in and then grab that clothing guard that fell off earlier and put it back where it goes. And then I go around back to the driver's seat. It's a lot of back and forth. Um, close the trunk. Grab my keys, phone, purse, whatever I have with me. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it helped you. And if you have any questions for me, let me know. Um, you can follow my social media as they are all in the links below. Like and subscribe if you learned something. Um, I'll link down below my how I drive video and my wheelchair tour video if you want to see how I take the chair apart and how I do drive my car. So yeah, I hope this video will help you guys and that you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I want to show the pipe insulation. He's proud of himself. He put protection for the chair. Rubber on the chair so that it wouldn't scrape as much. Hang on. <sighs> and sweat. Okay, this is Kate in the car. Hey, feeling good.